Now let's look at some load testing tools. The first tool that you might consider is a very old tool called the Web Application Stress Tool. Also goes by a code name of Homer. This is a very simple tool that scripts out requests using VB Script and offers very few bells and whistles. You can find it online if you search for it, but it is not a supported product these days. The next tool is sort of an iterative improvement on the Web App Stress Tool, and this is called Application Center Test. Microsoft Application Center Test shipped as part of Visual Studio 2005 on some of the shipping SKUs, the higher level ones. Application Center Test is very similar in terms of how it works to Web App Stress Tool, but it offers much better usability and the ability to capture performance metrics. Unfortunately, it does not ship as a separate product, so the only way that you'll probably be able to get your hands on it is to install Visual Studio 2005, for instance, the Enterprise Architect Edition. If you want to look at one of the premier testing tools available that's outside the Microsoft space, then Load Runner is certainly a tool that's worth considering. If your organization already uses Load Runner, you may consider it for your load testing needs since it is a very mature and full-featured product. Of course, you can use Visual Studio. Visual Studio's performance and load testing capabilities are quite substantial and will be covered in future modules in this course and related courses. Finally, a related tool to load testing that's not itself a load testing tool is Performance Monitor, or Perfmon. We'll look at how we can use Perfmon to measure information about the system under test during a load test. Here are some screenshots of the tools that we just talked about. You can see the Web App Stress tool, obviously a somewhat dated UI. Then there's my Microsoft Application Center test. Here's what a Mercury Load Runner session analysis looks like. And a Visual Studio 2010 load test result. And finally, here's an example of Performance Monitor. This is an example that's running on Windows 7. The UI is similar on Windows Server 2008. And you can see in this case that a load test is being run. I've highlighted the request per second counter, so that's what you see in black. Also shown is the request execution time, which is the green line. And the red line above is actually showing the processor, you know, the CPU percentage.